everyone, my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to a really exciting video. I have been so excited to film this, it's finally here. Yes, this is an announcement video for the Continuathon, which is a readathon that I have created and will be hosting along with Jane at the Bookaholic and Hugo from the Scientist Reading World. We are so excited to put this on. This will be going from April 2 to April 15. So this readathon is all about continuing or finishing series that we are reading. I just kind of noticed that I'm in the middle of so many series and so many other people are also reading a bunch of series that they wish that they could finish or continue on with. So I thought, let's create a readathon specifically focused on that so we can make some progress. We will have a Twitter page with all of the information and everything going up on there. All the links to everything will be down below, so make sure you go and follow us on Twitter at Continuathon. So the way this readathon is going to work is that there are badges that you can earn. The badges go towards how many prompts you complete. So there's no pressure of being on a team or competing and getting points, but there are badges that you can earn that are a lot of fun. One thing to keep in mind is that even though there are a lot of prompts, you can actually finish a prompt multiple times. There won't be a lot of like reading one book to fit multiple prompts if that happens for you great but it's more likely that you are going to read multiple books and re-accomplish the prompt and if that happens it still is uh, an individual thing so if I finish one prompt three times that's like I finished three prompts so like for the badges you we have like finished one prompt finished three prompts finished 5, 10, 15, etc. and so forth. Now, this might make a little more sense if I actually tell you what the prompts are. The way this is set up is that one prompt can be told in two different ways. There is continuing and there is completing. So for example, one prompt might be continue a trilogy. You could take that prompt and also have it be complete a trilogy. So if you read the second book in a trilogy, you have finished continuing trilogy. If you read the third book in a trilogy, you have completed complete a trilogy. There are 15 prompts, but seven of them are continue and seven, seven are complete with one big bonus, bonus prompt at the end. So we have continue or complete a duology, a trilogy, a series, a companion, a book in your longest series, a book in your oldest series, or a book in your newest series. I wanted to make sure to include companion novels as well because I wanted this readathon to be as open to many genres as possible. There are a lot of series in fantasy and sci-fi, but I wanted to make sure that romance readers can also participate in this. So if there is the completed companion novel, that could just be a book written by an author that you like if you're specifically reading like this this author's books you can go ahead and read those otherwise like the Talia Hibbert books with the three actor Eve each Eve Brown like books like that you can consider that a trilogy or a series if you want I would say a series is four plus books because we have trilogy and then we have duology so no standalones in this series in this readathon it must be some sort of companion or reading by an author or reading a series i think a book in your oldest series the one that you have started and just never finished the very first one same with your longest and your newest what's a series you have recently picked up if the next book is out obviously it can be hard if the book isn't out but what's your newest series and then the final prompt that doesn't flip-flop, continue, or complete, that is kind of the bonus, the 15th prompt, that is start and finish a whole series. So if there is a and series here, it could be a trilogy or a series. That would be starting with book one of a series and reading every single book in the series during these two weeks. It's a bonus prompt because it's a hard thing to do in two weeks unless you are a very fast reader or if 
you don't own all the books or have access to all the books, sometimes that's why we don't finish our series is because we either don't own them or our library doesn't have them. So that's why it's a bonus prompt. It's just something fun added if you just need a kick to start an entire series and just see if you can read it all the way through. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below or reach out to me on Twitter. Again, the Continuathon page is there. I will have a link to all the badges down below in this video. That will also include an Instagram story that you can use the template for to post on your Instagram stories if you are active there. We will have reading sprints throughout the two weeks. There will be a kickoff live show that will happen on April 2, so stay tuned for that. In order to do so, subscribe to me, to Jane, and to Hugo as well, so that you don't miss all of our reading sprints happening and things like that. Yeah, this is just supposed to be a fun little let's get some series read, continued, completed if possible. That would be so great. So I let me know if you plan on joining. I would love to know how many people are going to read at least one book during these two weeks to help continue along in a series or trilogy, duology, companion. I will have a TBR for this video going up n near the end of March. Um, it's only going to be a TBR for this readathon and I'm super excited to just kind of go through all the series that I have and find the next book and just get as many of them as I can together so I can read as much as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. I cannot wait for this readathon to get started to finally make some progress. Again, be sure to check out the announcement videos from both Jane and Hugo over at the Bookaholic and Scientist Reading World. But until I see you all in the next one, I wish you happy reading!